Welcome back fellow web creators and entrepreneurs. In this tutorial I'm going to cover how to easily track text to a subject such as a person in Premiere. To kick things off I've added a video clip to my timeline which contains a subject I would like to track with some text. To begin make sure the duration of your text clip is long enough to cover what you want to track on your video. To assist with the animation process, we're going to create a temporary reference point for you to anchor your subject to when creating keyframes. For the purposes of this demo, I will offset the text so it sits above my subject. So for this, the reference point will need to be sitting below your text, as you will see in a moment. In the video preview window, double click your text to select it. Move your cursor to the end of your text and hit enter. Type an X on your keyboard, but you can also use the plus symbol if you prefer. Now drag to select all of your text in the preview window, then go over to effect controls, open up your text properties and click the center paragraph button to center your text. Next, reposition the time marker to the start of your text clip. Using the selection tool, drag your text layer so that the X is sitting above the subject you wish to track. In this case, I'm going to reposition my X over the subject's face. Go back to the effects control panel and under text properties scroll down to the position value. Then click the stopwatch next to it to create a starting keyframe. Now move the time marker to the end of your text clip. Back in the video preview, move your X back over your subject again. This will create an ending keyframe to complete a basic point to point animation as you can see by playing back the clip. Next, move the time marker halfway between your start and end keyframes and recenter the X over your subject to create a middle keyframe. Now, repeat these steps to fill in the macro animations. Keep moving the time marker to the halfway point of all your keyframes, recenter the X over your subject until there's enough keyframes that your text is accurately tracking your subject. I recommend scrubbing back and forth through your video and repositioning the X over any spots where it moves off your subject. Once you've completed keyframing, use the text tool to delete the X from your text layer. And when you play back your footage, your text will smoothly hover above your subject and that's it. But let's say you want to offset your text to the left of your subject with a cool security tracking bounding box like this example, then check out this video. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.